Hey guys, Joe here. Day two of parts gathering. That's two. And uh, as you can see, I have the Z97 SLI Crate Edition motherboard with the i7-4790K. Shout out to Thomas. Thank you very much for letting me have it uh, early. Haven't paid him for it yet. I will. Uh, next week. It needs to be cleaned. It obviously sat around for a long time. He upgraded his own computer and he had this one laying around. So I thought I would uh, build a reasonable gaming rig for gaming yeah down here you can see i have the zotac uh, 980 ti running preliminary scores is putting it right on track with a stock gtx 1080 that i had in terms of its uh, scores on fire strike however those could be actually a little bit lower than they should be because i'm forced to use a riser cable as the motherboard layout does not support this triple uh, slot card. It doesn't actually fit up underneath the RAM slots in the first slot, and I think I damaged the first slot anyways because I was trying to manhandle it in there. So I have it in the second slot. As you can see, it is working, but uh, in the second slot, it needs to uh, be a little bit slower. I believe that's a times eight slot, not a times 16 slot, even though it is an SLI capable board. I think it goes times 16, times eight. But as such, it seems to be working fine. I did some uh, tests, and again, it came up to about a 22,500 fire strike score and a $7,000 or $7,000, 7,000 point CPU score. So, yeah, I'm going to get that board cleaned up to make sure it still works because it's been sitting for a while. And once I verify that that's all good to go, I'm going to go ahead and transfer this board onto that case I'm gonna run the AIO for now because I don't want to take the water block out of my editing rig and I'm gonna just run a different water block probably get like a bits power or a EK supremacy I know those are getting going on sale lately and then I'll have a gaming rig up and running but for now I can just use the AIO because even that thing overclocked at 3.9 gigahertz I'm in the 30s and that's without even having the USB cable plugged in, which I finally found. So, yeah, if you can't tell, I have lots of computer crap laying around that I haven't put together yet. But uh, this will be be the main thing. And with the, uh, it's not quite as white as it is in the video, but that scheme plus the fact that that's just black and gray, I think we're going to go with a black and gray or a black and white color scheme for this one. But I'm not going to go too extreme with it, so... Yeah, so that's coming. Look forward to that. If you have any comments, let me know. Any questions, let me know. If you want to see the entire build and you want this all included in it, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And, as always, I'll talk to you later.